No, it's not yet too close. Hey y'all, uh, I was out here working in my potage garden, which is something brand new for me. And I was just going to town, trying to lay out where the pathways are and everything. And I was like, I should really be sharing this with our YouTube channel. So I went and got my camera and I want to just kind of show you what I've been working on. Um, it may not look like much right now, but I'm excited about what it's going to look like when it's planted and then years to come. So let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so let me just give you kind of a view of where this is going to be. So this is our farm stand. This is our, we call this the shelter. This is where we sell our produce, meat, milk, everything um, in the summertime and throughout the year. And this is a driveway that goes up to um, one of our pastures. We have had tomatoes out here in this pasture or in this um field before and this year we're having like squashes and things um this is the driveway around to my father-in-law's house that we're building and this area in this corner right here in between these two trees this peach tree and this apple tree is going to be my garden area so right now this is where we put this is our compost pile um this is some lime that we got for the garden uh these are some uh, compost and and leaf um, mulch and wood chips and all kinds of stuff that's dumped over here eventually we're going to move these piles to another place and the compost to another, another place so I'll be able to kind of um, stretch out my garden a little bit but for right now the plan is can y'all see y'all don't laugh at this I have drawn this garden a dozen times and I keep coming back to something that looks similar to this. So I think I'm just going to go with it. Okay, it was so windy out there. All right, so from the view that I'm going to show you guys in a minute, this is the apple tree I showed you. This is the peach tree. Right here is where I want Adam to eventually make me a rustic looking um, covered like seating area with some like cedar posts and things. Um, so right here in between these two trees, right next to the driveway right here, I want a little seating area. That's the most flat spot. My garden kind of goes downhill as it goes this way. So, um, but what I've got is a pathway. These are the pathways. There's a circular pathway. And then there's like a straight aisle with things planted on the outside of the pathways. And then in the middle, there's a pathway all the way around, and I want to put some sort of water in the middle. I'm not sure if it's just going to be um, still water, if it's going to be running water, but I would love running water. So we're going to see what that, if we're able to get that figured out for the very middle, and then some things planted around that. And eventually, as I told you, when I stretch out my garden, I'm wanting to have a pathway this way and an iron... Um, uh, like an iron archway with a gate here and this is the driveway that goes around to my father-in-law's house so this is the driveway that people use um, when they're going around the house and that we walk around when we're walking around the property so I would like for a little gate to be right here um, so basically two entries into into the garden here so let me go show you what I'm working on right now Okay, so this is that area that I was showing you. So where this, where the compost is and the lime right now is going to eventually be like a little seating area right here that's covered. And then um, this will be a walkway this way. So what I've got going right now is I've got some, um, like I've got a hoe out here and a, and a rake and I'm trying to figure out where the pathways are gonna be because right now, I would love eventually to have pathways made of um, uh, little stones, little rocks, um, like pea gravel, but for right now, um, we're using wood chips for the pathways. So 
this is that fountain area this is the very center of the garden so i've got like a little a little um bark piece of bark right there from a tree that i'm using as where the fountain is going to go and um so i've got the pathway right here pathway going that way that's where that gated um that little gated archway is going to be eventually and um yeah so right now i'm just trying to get the path laid out and then i'm going to figure out so i've got this main let me back up i've got this circle right here around the fountain and now i've got to figure out where the larger circle is going to go so that i can measure it off um all the way around so that we don't have a lopsided circle that would be embarrassing but yeah adam's been helping me with the garden um he has been a spread he spread out all these leaves for me because he has been collecting leaves and he wants us to try planting um into the leaves so you know pulling back the leaves to plant into because the leaves he thinks will be a good mulch so that i'm not out here weeding all summer uh, so we'll see how that works it's kind of thick so i'm a little bit concerned about that i'll let you guys know how it works but for right now i'm just trying to get the the aisles the pathways um, marked out and i'm going to start putting the wood chips out if i get that done today before this video goes up then i will show you guys what it looks like with the wood chips on there um but I'm not really even sure how big this space is. Adam's like, is this gonna work for you? And I'm like, it will for now. I wanna expand already. Um, but I think it'll be a good starting garden. Um, I'm gonna have mostly um, herbs out here. And I'm also gonna have um, some flowers, some annuals and perennials and I just want it to be a really beautiful space to hang out in to harvest um, things that we need from it and I'm really excited about it I'm so excited that he gave me a, a good garden spot this is a place that we have had potatoes in the past um, and it's been really good he has built up the soil really good so he gave me a prime piece of real estate right here to make my garden and so I'm thankful to him for that um, the kids are a little bit jealous because they want <laughs> they've got a garden space of their own that's not even like broken up yet so anyways i'm excited about it i think it's going to be a beautiful space um i have played around with all kinds of ideas about the middle right here i was thinking about even doing some sort of um tree uh, i know it will take many many years to have it as a shade tree but i didn't I kind of decided against it because I didn't want it to shade out the whole garden because the garden space is pretty small. Um, so I didn't want it to shade out the garden eventually. But so right now we're going to put a fountain here. I will probably change this thing a dozen times over the years. But this is where we're starting. And I'm so excited that we have a YouTube channel to document this because, yeah, without this, without you guys watching i would never even think to video this or to document it and it's so nice to be able to look back and see how far you've come from different things so anyways y'all stay tuned it's going to be a fun fun spring and summer i hope to be able to come out here and plant if not the end of this week then certainly next week because we are very close to our last expected frost date last year we had a very late frost we had a frost that was a week after our last frost date and um we lost some tomatoes in the process but we are really just praying that it is warm to stay this year all right thank you guys for watching stay tuned i can't wait to show you what the garden looks like as it progresses through the spring and summer talk to you guys next time bye